Hello. Um, I really like to have my culture in the dark. So uh, I can see you all and you can all see me and that's slightly uncomfortable. It's easier to be in a dimmed auditorium waiting for a play or a film or a TED talk to unfold. And we can be still, surrendered to someone else's story. We can lose ourselves in that moment, imaginatively inhabit another place, another time, a soundscape, <coughs> where perhaps we can gain momentary awareness of what it must be like to be other than ourselves. At a live gig or in a nightclub, I love that feeling where we can just let go of our bodies and move together in a crowd to feel the music. We can be united in the rhythm and pace of the performance. And generally, it feels just fantastic to be listening, watching, or a la Bruce Springsteen just dancing in the dark. But museums, we do it with the lights on. And I think that means that as well as providing opportunities for something to look at, we are also providing an opportunity for all of us to step into the light. And that can feel uncomfortable. And I think as cultural spaces, we need to remember that and perhaps provide opportunities for all of us to see each other in better and new and more interesting ways. So I'm the director of a gallery here in Cork, the Glucksman, which is on the campus of University College Cork. Um, I hope some of you visited it. Um, you're all very welcome to come if you haven't. Um, and generally we show work that is described sometimes as thought-provoking or provocative. In 2009 we commissioned the Guerrilla Girls, a US art-based collective, to initiate a discussion about gender in art in an Irish context. Um, and you know, that's wonderful. That's about platforming the incredible work of artists like Alva. Um, um, and other artists that we are privileged to work with. But when we present our exhibitions, we provide a space for display and a space for viewing, so artwork and audience meet. And so I thought that it might be worth using this TEDx opportunity to ask you to consider what it means to see and to be seen in the public space of the museum. For me as a curator, it means two things very awkwardly feeling like this, because uh, you have a clicker, anyway. First, I think we constantly have to challenge ourselves to present diverse viewpoints within the program. And second, we have to ensure that as many communities in our city, in our country, and in our critical ambit, not only have access to, but are actively invited to explore the ideas and artworks on show. It means more than seeing the art, it means seeing the audiences too. Museums do it with the lights on and that allows us to observe our audiences and to be responsive to them and know that they in turn are observing us and looking to see the work and hopefully the welcome that they might be given. And sometimes I wonder what that welcome should really look like. Perhaps it is reminding ourselves that just because our senior visitors might want chairs to sit on during their visit, it doesn't mean they don't also want to dance. Our job is not just to present artwork that challenges the conventions of representation, but we also need to see beyond the stereotypes of our own expectations. From the outset, we have invited schools to participate in dedicated programs. I don't think this is, what is this? Yeah, this one away. <laughs> designed to introduce children of all ages and abilities to the enjoyment and learning possibilities of art. Because I want to show the, that last photograph with the very young children, um, because it was taken 10 years ago. And those children are now teenagers, and perhaps some of them might be studying for an exam and hoping to get into UCC. So these kids are great. Teenagers are a tougher audience. And we were pretty delighted with ourselves when some years ago we had successfully completed a project with a group of teenage boys in a city centre school which had little tradition of pupils progressing on to third level. Following an exhibition to celebrate their work at the end of the project, the principal wrote me a letter. It was a letter of thanks, but in truth it reminded me that the privilege I feel to work in a university art museum is also a very strong place of privilege in itself. 
in it. The principal wrote to me, we had such a terrific day and the whole ambience of the gallery contributed to this. We were thrilled with a visit to the gallery and to UCC by so many of our parents and grandparents. Many of them were in UCC for the first time. I had simply just not seen the fact that these children are surrounded by their own communities who themselves might not have access to the museum or the university, and we needed to see them too. And that kind of became my mantra, to encourage and invite all kinds of communities of interest to come to the museum for the first time. And when they are with us, to ensure that they are seen and that they are welcomed, and hopefully they might have a reason to come back, or maybe they'll just take it and leave it and decide that the Glucksman is not for them. Oh yeah, this is it. Um, our recent work with children living in direct provision has made me realize that often they can't come back unless we provide supports to help them get there. In order to see and be seen, they might require something more than just a bus. They might require a meal. They might require time to run around in our beautiful grounds, things that we didn't expect when we planned the workshops from the outset. I believe we have a responsibility to enable all children to express themselves creatively. And perhaps by making the creativity of these children visible, we can spotlight their desire to contribute positively to Irish society. This is the young artist, Emmanuel, putting himself in the frame, in the foyer of the Glucksman. So some communities need buses to get to us and meals when they get there. Others need a glass of wine and a place to relax. Some communities need our large lift that fits several wheelchairs at a time. Some communities want to hear an expert or an artist view or just a different perspective. This is the DJ Stevie G giving an inspiring presentation about music, civil rights and album covers. So now in our foyer, we do regular exhibitions of the work that different community groups create when they are with us. And by displaying it in a public space, we hope that we are inviting other people to see the diversity and creativity that is present in our society, but just not always visible. Perhaps seeing is not so much believing as it is belonging. And because museums do it with the lights on, we can really start to see each other and know that in this place, in our city, we are united in art. Thank you.